Okay, it's right after a snowstorm. And we're gonna go visit the chickens and the bees. Make sure everything's kosher. Chickens. Hey girls. Hey, we got some treats for you. you. Want some treats? Want some treats? You gotta go down, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead, chickens. Come on, you can all fit down there. There you go. Chuck on your water, make sure it's not frozen. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, your water's still good. Yeah. All right, stay warm. Chickens are doing well. And check out the bees. We're gonna make a pit stop at the ham radio cable. Want to get the snow load off of it. Go around. My dad and I installed a five trap vertical antenna as you can see and it's drooping a little bit but I put up this support in the middle to make sure that it wouldn't fall down it's looking all right it's supporting the weight of the cable and we will have to come out here and at some point put a longer cable on so it won't stretch out so much hanging out of that tree all right and then at some point we'll have to get the radials better situated but they are staying up for now we got fishing line and things like that actually this radial fell down I'll have to sort that out yeah it looks like this radial fell down but so far so good I've, I've had worse antenna accidents. All right, we'll go over to the bees. They're hanging out over here near the radio tower. As you can see, I put up a wind guard, which acted like a snow guard, so that's good. Yep, you can see the back entrance here is opened up. And the front entrance is opened up. So this hive is looking okay. It's beautiful. Um, the main thing with the chickens is you, uh, I'm sorry, not the chickens, the bees, is that you want the bees to be able to ventilate. Strange thing about this snow is that yesterday, it was uh, around 50 degrees, maybe even warmer. I think they said 60 in Philly. So uh, you're talking about big temperature differential here. Let's check out the other two hives we have. We have another full production hive right here in the garden. As you can see, the back entrance is okay. But the front entrance is covered up, looks like. So I'm just going to clear this snow away here. There you go, bees. Ventilation going from there up to the top uh, helps them keep condensation out of the hive. So you kind of want to have that ventilation going uh, bottom to top. And then they fan their wings inside. 
and they'll drive the air through. Or that's the theory anyway. Who knows what bees are actually doing there. All right. There's our wood pile. Slowly transferring that wood pile over to the wood sheds over there. And I haven't even gotten to this monster log yet. All right, and the last one we'll check out is the nuke. The nucleus hive. Nucleus hives are small self-contained hives. It's a good sustainable way to beekeep. Smaller population. Not as much honey, but it does its job. And it looks like my um, snow guard here works pretty well. So that's good. And back entrance open. Front entrance definitely not open. Alright, I'll clear this out here. Hopefully we'll get some snow melt too. And then they can uh they can take care of themselves too. That's the whole point about bees. Alright. The homestead is looking great today cold, snowy, but good. Kind of want to check out how these peas are doing. Sarah planted Austrian winter peas in here because the uh, they will fix nitrogen in the soil. We had squash in here. Looks like a bird actually. I don't know if it's coming through on the video. It looks like a bird landed in here. There's like a Actually, you know what it is? It's the grass brushed against the snow. All right, let's see. Let's see how the peas are doing underneath the snowpack. There they are, the peas. So the cool thing, cool thing about peas is that they will survive the winter. Um, they're cold hardy. All right, so we got some winter maintenance done. Uh, we'll bring in some firewood and yeah generally survive the storm have a good one